and welcome to the launch of the Mercedes Maybach GLS 600, Maybach's first SUV in India. Joining us today to tell us the story of luxury is Martin Schwenk, MD and CEO, Mercedes Benz India. We also have with us the queen of design and Asia's most influential designer, Suzanne Khan, the creative mind behind the charcoal project, India's leading one-of-a-kind concept store. Hello, Suzanne. I'm very happy that you can join us today coming up from Bombay to meet us here to the launch in Pune. Hello, Martin. I'm so privileged and I feel really happy to be here at the epic launch of this beauty. <laughs> and that we would want to extend our, our warm welcome also to everyone here on the screens. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's the first time uh, we launch an SUV for Mercedes as a Mercedes Maybach, a car that really stands out as a I would say a testimony to our this year's motto, which is reimagine excellence. Uh, that's Correct. our motto for 2021. And I have to say, as an engineer, um, I also have a little designer in myself. And I'm if sure. I look at the car like this, then I really feel uh, the warmth. And I can clearly say uh, the beauty of uh, Maybach is really completely uh, in this vehicle as well. Today, as we set now things into motion, uh, Suzanne Khan is here with me, and I don't think I need to introduce you. <laughs> I'm glad that you join us today. Thank you, Martin. Uh, you know, I am so happy to be here. Firstly, because according to me, the brand Mercedes-Benz has been, uh, you know, very relative to me since I was a little girl. My, my parents have always been very, uh, you know, uh, aspirational, always wanted to own one. And I think that uh, we today as designers and as we want to figure out what is the meaning of luxury? Mm. What is the essence of this word that we are you know, talking about? So I think that's the reason why I'm here today to talk about the evolution of luxury and how it has been from year to year and the change of it. Yeah. Well, then I'm really curious to find <laughs> out with you uh, together uh, what is this about luxury? Maybe before we go into the cars, I mean, you come from a very unique style with your charcoal project. Uh, can you tell me a little bit how you connect luxury with design and your own creations? Okay, so, um, you know, Martin, for me, the philosophy of uh, creating comes from a very, uh, I would say, passionate place. It's all heart and it is about creating an emotion. It is about creating a curiosity that you want to uh, evoke in the person that you're creating for. It could be a space, it could be a, a product, a chair, but it should overall give you an entire feeling of well-being and an emotion of love and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, feeling secure mm -hmm. in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I look at this beauty today, the Mercedes Maybach, and I just, I just want to say that I, I, I saw it in the video, but I saw it in person and I'm like blown apart. <laughs> and you know, I think looking at this makes me feel that uh, it's been a little difficult the time. Mm. And I know that it's, it's hard to sell a luxury product. So I would like to know that how have you, you know, managed to keep the business going in India at this time? How has it been? Yeah, I mean, I have to be honest, it is difficult in these times. Of course, the brand is always hopeful, aspirational, and we cater to the green dreams of our customers. But we have also to acknowledge that we go through a very difficult time, which I personally hope we are seeing now the end of it. Yes. Yeah, with making some improvements. But in these times, it was extremely important to us also to support our communities and our employees. Absolutely. Uh, for example, we did, we did uh, donate uh, for here for the communities around. Um, we gave uh, oxygen uh, concentrators. But I think now looking forward, it's important also to make sure that we can get out safely out of this crisis. And I'm very happy to say uh, that in only in the last few days we were able to vaccinate literally all of our employees and the contractors we work with here oh, on site wonderful. together. Wonderful. Um, yeah, and, and we're now moving on, uh, bringing all family members, uh, getting them vaccinated as well. And I think one big step we also took is uh, we're putting in 1,500 rupees uh, for every, uh, every employee of oh, any wow. dealership in the country oh. uh, to support their vaccination because we really believe vaccination is the way uh, going forward and further unlocking. Yeah. We have to, we have to be 
absolutely safe. We've done the same at Charcoal Project. We've uh, vaccinated all our people and kept it absolutely good. But, uh, you know, I think that here today it's important for us to, um, you know, keep the, uh, keep the uh, you know, the idea of, you know, making sure our communities are safe at the yes, same time, yes. trying harder to sell and to make sure that our product is of, of a certain, uh, you know, um, visibility, right? Absolutely. And yeah. if you ask me about the difficult times, of course, yeah. it's also a, a frame of mind we have to be in. On the one hand, uh, I think it's now the right moment to get back to business, so to say. Whilst we were able uh, to continue at a lower scale our production, now we see with uh, unlocking of, uh, of uh, a lot of dealerships Absolutely. that operations are coming back. So we felt very confident last week to launch what we call Retail of the Future, a completely new way of doing business in, in our sales outlets that will really have a big impact on uh, the future oh, customer really? experience. Wow. Uh, so you will see more of that, I'm sure. Uh, and today now coming with uh, our Mercedes uh, Maybach uh, in a SUV shape uh, for the first time, uh, that really shall give us additional energy now in coming back and looking positively uh, to the future. I mean, for me, uh, Maybach, I, I grew up close to Stuttgart, and Maybach always was kind of special to me. It, it, yeah. It is, uh, yeah, tell it, us about the history. Yeah, I want to know I mean, about I give you how, a, yeah, yes, of I want course, to know. a yeah. little educational yes, here. Yeah? Please. I mean, uh, at, at the start of the 20th century, uh, Wilhelm Maybach, uh, he was a great uh, engineer and a developer of uh, products who would focus in his vehicle wow. and car design on new technologies at the same time at a great designs. Wow. His real view was to create the best uh, of the best, and uh, I think that is what is That's the what aspiration he, today. Of yeah. course, of course. I think that he has totally nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, At and the now time, it's, yeah. it's coming here. Yeah. If you look now into, I mean, you follow the industry, you follow a luxury as itself. Uh, what would you want, how could you explain to me how luxury has uh, developed, evolved uh, in the country over, over the years? So, you know, I think that um, if you have to talk about luxury in our, uh, you know, in, in the 80s to the 90s, you know, I was a toddler, like I said, when my parents, uh, you know, were aspirationally, they owned the, you know, the uh, Mercedes, uh, you know, the convertible in those days. And I remember it was such a big thing. And I know that, you know, uh, the one couple of things that luxury is, it's not only about, it's about being aspirational. It's about like kind of making a certain, uh, you know, dream come true. Mm -hmm. And I think that over time and over the years, uh, luxury in India has evolved and changed because there has been a lot of uh, technology that has added to the to the uh, to the luxury product. So now your product is like thinking. It has a brain and it has a heart. You know. So like yeah. like I'm sure that's another thing that you know absolutely, we are going absolutely. towards. So uh, you know, similar to like uh, similar to the Maybach uh, designs and similar as a designer. Uh, obviously, we can't. Uh, I mean, I haven't achieved something so great yet. But I must say that. We all work from the same place of just wanting to create something which makes you feel good mm -hmm. and from the heart. And I think that I can say that I want to study automotive design now <laughs> after, after looking at this beauty. So maybe that's the next step. <laughs> I think uh, design to make, I, I take from your words, uh, um, and luxury to make you feel good about well-being. I think that's very, very good of and course. very interesting thoughts for me. Very. I think that is obviously the task for, for our di designers as well. Uh, we talk about sensual purity. Uh, and if I look at the, the GLS Maybach, I can say that is for me personally next level already. Mm -hmm. So uh, it really is also meant to uh, showcase how Mercedes is transforming more and more into a leading design brand, uh, so to say. And I think if you think of our entire range, absolutely. a lot of that is there. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. With that, let's have a look at uh, short AV.
For us, the Maybach design is very special and a lot of attention to detail is at the core of it. Um, when you look inside, the interior uh, not only offers best comfort, but uh, I think in many aspects it can really be compared to what you find on a, on a luxury yacht or, or in a, a jet. Or maybe? a jet, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think what, what is, it's not only design, it's also the feeling of it. You spoke about well being, uh, and if you really, the, the, the yeah. touch and feel and the craftsmanship and the materials themselves. Uh, I find them always very necessary for very good well-being. So of course. Of I course. would be interested, uh, yeah. what, is, what is your view on material? What, what kind of material do you prefer in your, in your creations? So, uh, Martin, uh, honestly, you are absolutely right. Uh, we, as a, a company, always look to create this feeling of, uh, you know, well-being and comfort. And that comes from very authentic uh, materials and authentic uh, you know, a specialized product. So when we are choosing, we choose a lot of natural fibers like woods and metals. And I like to sometimes use it in its authentic form because I feel that that adds a lot of different layers and textures to the uh, environment and what we're trying to create. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely think that it is a process that keeps building. So the use of wood is like exceptionally very important in a, mm -hmm. in a very, uh, it can change, so it can be sophisticated if need be, or it can be rough and in a certain mm -hmm. way if mm -hmm. it need be. So, I mean, I think it takes a lot of great uh, uh, amount of, uh, you know, kind of uh, what you experience to reach this level of uh, finesse in a product. And obviously, you know, hearing your story, I'm looking at this and I'm so motivated <laughs> to kind of like know more <laughs> about automotive yeah. design. I, I mean, of course, uh, it's a design, but then it's also the finesse, how things are put together. Yeah. Um, and we always proud ourselves here with these uh, vehicles that they have a really high level of craftsmanship. Correct. Um, and that yes. makes them really also distinctive and uh, it goes authentic, very yes. authentic uh, and it goes very well with an extraordinary uh, design and that's why uh, we call it the Maybach of SUVs uh, oh. and, and that's uh, obviously the first uh, SUV as a Maybach we are offering. So um, wow. for me, yeah, <laughs> for me that is really what we want to offer to our customers, something very special and also following their own ambitions and their well-being as you have put it yes. uh, so nicely. At the same time, uh, the design is is uh, very outstanding. I'm not sure what's your view on that, but oh, I it find is. it... Oh, yeah. It's stunning. I mean, it's so aquiline and, you know, it's so perfectly balanced. I find it's very balanced. It's, it's, it's balanced, it's, yeah. but it's still very... How strong. can I say? Yeah. Strong. Yeah, strong. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and at the end, uh, it, it creates also a lot of uh, feelings. Yeah, so what, yeah. what, is, what is your view how uh, luxury should impress itself on, on, uh, on the... How can I say customer um, or the yeah. spectator? So, I mean, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, um, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, luxury is an emotion, mm. okay? And design is a tool. You can use the tool to create the emotion. So as a designer and as a mind who wants to create, if you work from that space, mm. then you keep going into different realms of creating without uh, calculating where it's heading if it literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's so important to, uh, you know, have that as the back of your head when you're designing. And when I see the uh, my back SUV, I think that that's what the designer, mm -hmm. and, and I, I heard from you that it takes that much time and detailing to go into like so many, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, prototypes and all of that. So I think it's, it's the flow of the yes. energy and the way that you want to make that person feel so mm -hmm. special and so, you know, exuberant. So that's, I think, you are, you, you are, the, you are the epitome of that <laughs> when I think about Mercedes as a brand. No, but I think design is a tool. I think that is a very, very uh, interesting. Uh, thought. I mean, from a designer's mind now, uh, if I look then here also how the star sits, for example, on, uh, on the bonnet here, I can clearly see it is a special Absolutely. tool because it creates that element of, of surprise and uh, at least for and, me, and unexpected. Yeah, yeah, and also unexpected and also like some sort of, you know, royalty and a little to like finesse, you know, in a certain way, because I know the other one was flat, right? Yes, yeah, you had, this yeah. is the only SUV where we have the upright standing star and for someone like me who is a little bit traditional I really like uh, what it demonstrates at the same absolutely, time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely I agree with you. 
yes. Let's, let's have a look uh, with the and next the video, video okay. uh, what we're talking yes. here about. God, Martin, I am. I've got ha my hair is standing up because it's such an amazing, <laughs> epic moment for me. Absolutely, I mean, for us, uh, the Mercedes Maybach GLS, it's not only uh, like an epitome of luxury. At the same time, it offers exclusivity to a large absolutely, extent. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and there is many, many ways you can configure the vehicle to your own liking. Uh, yeah. There is different uh, designer leather packages. There is exclusive trims uh, for an individual look. Uh, there is different uh, colors uh, offers, yeah, there's upholstery differences also in terms of different colors like uh, crystal white or silver, uh, gray, pearl, wow. very fancy words, but uh, it looks also very fancy, I have mm. to say. Uh, but if you really want to, for example, use it as a mobile office, you also can have a real folding table, there's a refrigerated compartment, wow. even champagne flutes are being offered. So a lot of these features uh, can be uh, in your uh, GLS Maybach uh, and uh, will then make your journey either like a, a mobile office yes. or a very rela relaxing one. Yeah. Of course, of course. I mean, you know, I think that personalization and uh, individualization, uh, you know, making the yes. product special for each person is such an important thing as we go by after even this huge pandemic. We all realize the importance and value of each day. Mm. So if we can work really hard to make our lives feel aspirational and even better and, and you know, as designers, give our uh, clients and our people that we are working for that special feeling. Yes. I think that that is the biggest, uh, you know, role that we should play as design minds, I think. And, and I think that this car spells it out. <laughs> no, I mean, that's yeah. clear. I mean, yeah. everyone who, wa uh, who aims to own a car like this, they also look for exclusivity, of for course. something special, for individualized uh, trimmings or, or features. So I really think uh, that is what everyone would be looking at. On the other hand, I would already want to let you know that uh, we have already now a very, very good, uh, say, positive feedback from a lot of customers wow. even before we have actually launched the vehicle uh, with uh, saying the positivity coming back in the market and the expectations uh, our customers would have from a GLS Maybach. Uh, we have already seen quite, quite a strong, strong uh, pull into pull. that car. Oh, nice. and, um, yeah. for, for me, it's, it's hard to imagine, but we have already 550 uh, orders, uh, 500 would be even better, yeah? 500 but, uh, soon, God willing. Really. 500 will take a little longer, but we have 50 uh, orders oh, uh, for amazing. the first GLS. That's very, very Absolutely. good, yeah. And we have right now uh, an, another set of customers configuring their vehicle and ordering it, and it will be then produced as well and early uh, next year. They will be then wow. also here in India. So I'm, I'm really uh, impressed about how we have taken speed with this, with this vehicle. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed too. And I think that it's all the hard work that you all have put behind all these years of even putting the product together. And like you're saying, it's so special, it's so important. But you know, I mean, I, uh, it, it, it's, just, it's just happy that like I, I think that um, you have not announced the price of the product. No. So I'm curious to know, what is the price, Martin? <laughs> well, I mean, price is always an interesting uh, subject. I think the price should represent the value of something. Yeah? Okay, and yes. I'm sure that's for your installations as well. So uh, the Maybach GLS starts at 2.43 crore. Okay. Um, and uh, having seen the response we have at, at the moment, I think we have a, 
very ably priced uh, product which really stands out and uh, gives us a lot of confidence of its success and also the future success of our vehicles. Wow. We have more ultra luxury products to launch <laughs> very soon uh, in the market uh, and I'm I very confident forward. they will also work out quite well. Yes, that sounds amazing. I look forward and I'm, and I'm sure it's going to be really exciting. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure you, you, uh, you have a lot of people in your water, wider, uh, um, say, circle uh, who would probably be also customers Very in intrigued, that field. Very yeah? intrigued, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, like I said before, I, I'm, I'm born and brought up in a film family. My parents, from a very young age, aspirational, wanting to create. And I think that there will be a lot of young people today who even will, you know, aim to get a product like this because it's almost like you feel like there's a pat on your back when you achieve it on your own without like you know uh, any sort of other help but I think that this is, yeah, this mean, is a, a great I want to know what is the uh, like how who are the people who are uh, you know ordering what was the age group is there like, yeah I yeah, know you, you make yeah, a point here yeah? I mean yeah. we see really uh, we have an age group between 40 and 45 which is actually oh, wow. surprisingly young for a product like this yes. at least I was surprised yes, it is young yeah on the other hand when we see what uh, what the people are <laughs> they uh, a lot of them are young sportsmen and film personalities, uh, design, fashion designers, maybe also other designers. Yeah. Oh, yeah uh, so sure. there is a lot of uh, curiosity, customers, and, curiosity want, yeah. and there's a lot of, you know, you mentioned well-being, you mentioned luxury individualization. Uh, at the same time, uh, aspiration is aspiration, always there. Yeah. And, and that is really something which goes uh, through the brand by itself, uh, actually on, on every model. Yes, I mean, like, honestly, I'm pretty convinced that you're absolutely right. I'm, um, now, my aspiration is to get one of these. <laughs> I'm going to work harder to get one of these. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. uh, it's always in reach, I think. But I can also uh, assure you, uh, yeah. we have 24 models in our range. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's definitely one for, one every, for everyone. For yes. every aspiration, there, <laughs> there is one. And uh, that's also a fact. Yes. Uh, we have a, a wide range of, of customers. Um, and, and they all uh, aspire to, I mean, it doesn't really matter what, what, uh, what price segment you Absolutely. look at, whatever. Yeah. They aspire for Mercedes as a brand. They look for the design. They look for of the special course, features. That quality. And Absolutely. The, you know, the history of Mercedes is so important so I think that obviously what you're saying sounds absolutely accurate for me you know I know that yeah I mean if I hear your convertible story I can believe yeah, that yeah, of course. it triggers yeah. a lot of uh, uh, warm emotions yeah. as well yeah, I course. mean for us it's important uh, the products but then at the same time being there for the customers creating a great customer experience uh, and then also really connecting every customer with the brand and their vehicle but uh, before we now conclude on this I would also be curious about, do you have any major project coming up now from your <laughs> charcoal initiatives? Okay, so um, Martin, I am, um, I'm happy to announce that uh, my uh, brand, um, Charcoal Project, and the, besides Charcoal Project, we are now setting aside a new brand which will be introduced at Salone di Mobili this September, mm -hmm. and that brand is called Vero Suzanne Khan. Mm. It's a brand which is uh, more exclusive, it is more uh, special, so the products that, we're in, that we are launching, it honestly was supposed to be launched at 2020, but because we had this pandemic and so it, it got delayed, but it's happening this September, and I feel very, um, you know, uh, nervous and a little anxious because it's no, something that, that I've created. <laughs> that yeah. sounds very interesting. Yes. Vero Susanne Khan is probably real Susanne Khan, yes, I suppose, yes. yeah, with my <laughs> little to non-existent. Uh, yes. But uh, yeah, that's very interesting. I really wish you. Uh, I will very, invite you for yeah, the I'm, I would be I glad hope, to come. I hope yeah. that it's all uh, we can travel and all at that <laughs> time. I mean, I'm sure I will make sure. But if you can, you please come. I, I would be curious you. to see that yes. uh, how this brand uh, comes to fruition. Because at you. the end, you know, we're always on that learning journey. You talk of about course. your your design and your development. We talk about cars, but it's very important to understand how these things interact. Specifically, since our customers, they also lo live in in absolutely, both these worlds. Absolutely, absolutely, and they and like you said. And that's the bottom line, I think, today. Aspirational. Aspirational. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, a certain individual is ind individually, uh, you're making them feel special. You're making them feel so important. And I think that as uh, a brand, we all just 
uh, want to make those people feel special. Am yes. I right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's about yeah. the well-being and it's yeah. also about, as you say, aspiration that goes hand in hand with luxury yeah. uh, and design. Design it as, as a tool. I will remember that. And if I came to your show or come to a show, yes. I will remember and of try to find uh, where the tool is. With this, uh, I would want to go Thank to a close with, with this session. Thanks uh, very much uh, for joining us today. And I would Thank also you. want everyone uh, to stay safe. I'm very confident that uh, with not only with this launch, but also with what we see at the moment going on, uh, the pandemic is on its way out. Uh, and with Inshallah. that, I would like to thank everyone yes. uh, on the screens and here in the room, of course, thank you. Uh, for yes. joining and having this chat with thank me Thank you, Martin. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we are so happy at this epic launch of the Maybach <laughs> SUV. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. I mean, if you talk about tool, yeah, I always wow. find you know, the star is very special. <laughs>